gonna do let's let's have another episode of let's make it the art and today what I thought we would work on is making a logo so I know that um, uh, a lot of you working in games or, or any company for that matter might end up uh, <laughs> yeah I got lasers in my eyes I can't help it it's the it's the blinds they they have a little opening there and there it's letting the sun so I have these lasers shooting in my eyes it's my special power so um, so <clears throat> I know a lot of you have probably when you're working on your own games have come to the situation where maybe when your game is done or before you're even done you might have to come up with a name for your game and then you might have to make a logo for it or you might have a company and you need to make the logo for your company so there's a lot of things that you would have to go through mm, to do that and sometimes it can be really difficult um, getting inspired or trying to figure out where to even start when you're making a logo so we'll just kind of discuss that today and hopefully <clears throat> get started on making one um, just to give you a heads up I haven't prepared in advance for this so you would be in the kind of see the same situation that I would be in um, if I was to make a logo so let's just go ahead we'll write it here <clears throat> uh, by the way what I'm using here is just illustrator you can use whatever software you want to use you can sketch I'm not using right now a Wacom tablet I have a few but um, I'm just gonna keep things simple and do everything with ma with the mouse I feel pretty comfortable with the mouse I'm working in vector graphics right now I think it'll be okay um, you can do sketches as well too I might try to do some sketches when I do that maybe I'll hook hook up the Wacom but for right now I'll just keep keep it simple so <clears throat> uh, what I was thinking was well let's say making a game slash company logo let's let's make that big so when people people show up they can see what what it is what the hell we're doing and um, <coughs> you just follow along uh, and you can use uh, like I said whatever software you want to use so um, the first thing I would do is well let's say we need to come up with um, the name of your game or company right now I haven't decided which one it'll be but um, uh, a, a few weeks ago Bjorn had uh, wrote a, a name up on a board when we were talking about something and it sounded kind of cool for a company name or or maybe it could be a game I don't know so I haven't decided yet I'm gonna have to decide pretty soon though so maybe we'll come to realize which it'll be better so so the it's called super hack was what it was called <coughs> maybe it'll be one word two words I don't know yet that'll be what we're going to um, what we're going to make our our logo of so this is that's what we're gonna use so um, the first thing I would do when I'm thinking about making a logo I would go and search online for some type of inspiration so since um, I have the name here, Super Hack, I would go out and go online. And uh, like I have mentioned in the past, I go to Pinterest. Um, I don't know where you guys might go. <coughs> inspiration idea, Kung Fury. Okay, yeah, we can write that down as an inspiration. I'll write that down here. If you guys have any other inspiration ideas, please do share in the chat. Uh, since we're building this kind of company slash logo together I'm open for everything uh, like I said I haven't prepared at all so I was hoping that we could all kind of work together to create this but um let's write that down Kong inspirations mm. Kung Fury now Kung Fury is this kind of um, throwback to the old 
cool 80s flicks. They had a thing going on Kickstarter. I don't know if you've heard of Kung Fury, but I'll just quickly show you guys. <coughs> kind of what it looked like. It was just kind of this old school, you know, 80s meets Kung Fu thing. And there was a guy in there that was called Hacker Man, actually. So he's kind of cool. He hacks time. So maybe we want if if we was if we were going to do like an 80s spin on this, we might get some, um, you know, inspiration from from this. Here, here's some screens that he had. So these could be inspirational as well. So, but it'd be interesting to hear what you guys. <coughs> If you guys have worked on logos as well, what, uh, how, what are the methods you used or what are things that you would do to get inspired? Or just like I said earlier, just share, share um, uh, any ideas you have or inspirations that might be. <coughs> Make a line. Make a line. Come on. Uh, I'm using Illustrator just because I feel comfortable with it. This is what I normally use at work. So, uh, so uh, an Illustrator is a vector-based software. So, vector just pretend you use math to draw. It's just easier thinking that way, and you're not losing any quality. So you can scale something up to a very large uh, size and not lose the quality. So, so what I recommend is. <coughs> We go to Pinterest and we start looking. Now, I've already gone to Pinterest right now. I just typed in hackers. And like I said in the past, what we want to do is we want to create a board that uh, <coughs> kind of uh, helps to inspire us what hackers might feel like. So, for example, this, this here, I can just save this, even though there's not that much to it. So, I'll create a board. I'm going to say hacking logo <coughs> should maybe I should call it super hacking logo but yeah what are kind of the it'd be interesting to hear from all of you what kind of methods you go you guys go about when uh, searching for for inspiration So that's that. Yeah, again, like I said, you should be really careful on Pinterest. It's very easy to get like half naked stuff there and you could get in trouble really easily depending on how old you are or where you're working. Uh, I would say if you're working in the industry, a uh, game industry specifically and you're an artist, it doesn't matter. I've, uh, I've walked into, um, I've walked into the art, department many a time and their their screens are covered with half naked people it's just they're using them as references so of course at the end of the day it's all about your intention uh, let's do hacker world maybe let's see if that brings up something <coughs> this is interesting what's this do <coughs> yeah that's kind of cool wonder if we can use that as like an inspiration and remember when you're when you're here when you click on this you can always go down they find inspirations but here these are kind of crap so but let's just keep looking actually you know it reminds me of ghost in the shell here but <coughs> It's interesting there's not too many let's take a look at here I have a feeling if I search it's gonna bring up the matrix or something which will be really dumb that's not what I really was I thinking of when I'm thinking of hacking yeah see this looks like the matrix stuff <coughs> let's do hacking let's do hacking game maybe Maybe ha cyberpunk might be a good thing. That might. I know there's a lot of hacking happening in there. These colors, <coughs> they might be good. So I'll keep some of these for colors. 
but yeah it'd be interesting to hear what you guys uh how you go about um kind of building up your ideas or inspirations for logos or how you guys build up logos some people they just start sketching the first thing you know different stuff that comes to their mind and then they kind of go from there yeah it's lots of tubes <coughs> seems to be like shiny objects and these tubes are connected these tubes might do something <coughs> these are like hacking yourself this is crazy look at that imagine in the future when we're like this you just plug stuff in. oh you need to eat you just plug the tube in or was it sleeping and i don't know what this is repairing it looks like you're repairing something maybe i don't i don't know what that logo stands for <coughs> these are interesting colors yeah so if you're maybe maybe what we might want to do is pretend this is a game because what happens is actually <coughs> we're like if we're making a logo for a game right now it might be a little easier if this was a logo for a company i would be a little more careful because when you're making a logo for a company you're going to be stuck with it for for a while <laughs> or probably forever and um when when you do that you have to think uh you know what is coming across <clears throat> when i these are interesting orange here what's what's coming across in my company logo uh what does it mean does it represent what i stand for because that's oh, this is from the old um, tron movie <coughs> Uh, because that has an impact on, um, uh, you know, how people see your company, what they expect from your company. So doing that is not so easy. You have to really think it through. So right now, I think just to keep things simple, let's just, <laughs> well, <clears throat> not that simple, but let's just right now say it's going to be easier making this a game. So it seems like uh, greens and blacks are are uh, <coughs> are, um, are popular for the hacking hacking community. So yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> But yeah, it'd be interesting if you guys, have you ever worked on <coughs> worked on a logo yourself? What are the things you've went through? It'd be interesting to hear that. Uh, and again, uh, please remember that this is just the way that I'm doing it. It doesn't mean that, you know, the way that I'm doing it is right or the way I'm doing it is wrong. It's just uh, uh, circuit boards. Um, it's just the way I'm thinking about doing stuff um <clears throat> i've done a couple logos in the past uh well if you look at our our own game dev company uh, logo i worked on that and then uh worked on a couple other ones <clears throat> a couple product logos maybe that's enough of those let's start looking for uh what would you think of when you think of the word super? Let's just look up for super hack anyway, see what happens. <coughs> okay, that doesn't really bring up anything. So when I think of hack, I think of all those things I just collected earlier, but uh, not for super. Let's see what just comes up with super. Is it. <coughs> All right, looks like we get a lot of food. Maybe we should start thinking of like, uh, maybe like uh, strong. <coughs> and these are all quotes, powerful. <coughs> uh, 
Maybe bodybuilders. I don't know if I want to do a search for that muscular, but let's uh, let's see. Strength. Let's look at strength. Yeah, I just get quotes. So maybe look at like muscle. I get nervous when I search for certain things. On uh, <coughs> well, there's Arnold. Everybody likes Arnold. Arnold. Maybe we can. I like this. Um, <coughs> this this uh, his bicep, his arms, kind of cool. Maybe if we had like this bicep thing. Let's, let's do a search more for these. Not for Arnold. Let's look for Arnold's biceps. Any more biceps? Okay, that's not helping. Maybe we should just do a search for biceps. What about flex muscles <coughs> oh, that's too much maybe flex biceps <coughs> here's a good image Let's, is there any more like this? No? Let's do a search this way. I can do a, bring this down. <coughs> okay, those suck. That's a good photo though. Maybe we can just use that one. <coughs> yeah. That's too big. I think if, if it's like super, super strong men, I think it'll look ugly. Uh, we can look real quick. Let's just look up bodybuilding. Though I might regret that. Interesting. Yeah, but if you guys have any ideas too, please, please share. <coughs> like this guy's tattoos, though. So what we'll do is we'll try to come up with a concept, basic idea here. Yeah, I think, I think we got enough to get started. <coughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's go and go to our board here. start dragging out and saving some of these that I I really like let's see here move move some of these over <coughs> make some room here I'll make a new folder on my desktop okay. let's call it a uh, super hack drag some of these images in sometimes Windows doesn't want to cooperate at all Let's 
take this one. Will it let me? There we go. Did it save that? Yeah, it did. All right. So let's just drag out the ones that are. Uh... <coughs> Do I like this one? I like this guy's tattoos, but his arm is cut off. Maybe we can use the tattoos as an inspiration. Might have to do a search for tattoos later. These circuits are interesting. Same with these colors. <coughs> oh yeah, and these colors I remember. They were interesting. Wonder if I got the action. Oh. It's saving the links, not the image. Let's go back. Darn it! There we go. <coughs> I like this orange here, but there's enough in here. Maybe these, um... Ugh. The guy smoking again. The guy below me smokes. Um, yeah, I like these colors here. Let's grab those two. Seems like every time you think about hackers, you think like black and green. And and uh, <coughs> that's not a bad thing either. Um, because um, if there's a convention that people have in their minds you know that that you think you should follow it makes it easier for people to accept those things so <coughs> yeah <coughs> yeah we had we had kung fury too actually yeah uh, maybe the kung fury logo would be kind of cool actually let's let's grab that Let's take that. Maybe we can use that as the text. <coughs> Even though when I think of hacker, I wouldn't think that one. Maybe I'd take that too. <coughs> Let's go back and see if I find hacker man here. Oh yeah, that is hacker man. <coughs> I think that's enough for now. Yeah, but um, let's uh, let's open up Illustrator again. <coughs> I can just drag all these images in here. Let's keep these around here, kind of off to the side. Give me some inspiration. Yeah, so <coughs> let's 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 change this. Uh, we're gonna call it making a game logo, not a company logo. So it's called Super Hack, and we can think about the fonts <coughs> a little bit later. Ah, oh, let's see, Bjorn sent something. Yes. <coughs> Let me, let me drag it in. Hold on. He likes that, so. We'll, we'll use that as inspiration, too. <coughs> Be super cool, hacker man. So. I don't know if I'll be able to use them somehow, but. <coughs> let's, let's think. What's up, Calm? What's going on? Uh, we're just working on a, making a logo for a game called Super Hack. If you uh, if you got any ideas or suggestions, feel free to shoot them my way. And also, uh, it'd be interesting if you've have you ever worked on a logo before for a game, maybe in get inspired 
So it'd be nice to hear what other people have done. So, so normally what I would do now is start just sketching out ideas. Um, but uh, I'm gonna skip a couple steps here. Let's see here. Well, maybe I can sketch out some of these things. Or I can start doing a thing called photo bashing, which is basically you just start taking some of these images and jamming them together. But, uh, <coughs> but I like this. Um, I like this. I, I don't know if I like that arm down. Maybe I like this fist here. This actually, I mean, this bicep is kind of, kind of interesting. <coughs> <laughs> oh you did you made a you made one for uh, a mobile game oh that's cool that's cool can you share we'd like to see it if, if you feel comfortable no pressure yeah but uh, I like these pipes here but yeah feel free to share if you got a link I'd like to check it out that'd be really awesome I like these colors. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sample these colors right now. Uh, let's let's just do that real quick. <coughs> maybe maybe this right here, a little brighter, something like that. Let's put it out here. So. And. Uh, that super purple <coughs> this green these are all like neons might have to play around play around with these is that a different purple it's interesting how I'm sampling and one purple looks super bright I think this is yeah that is a brighter one Oh, let's check it out. Oh, okay. That's cool. This is for the game we played the other uh, last week, right? Where uh, you were uh, competing, uh, trying to knock the balls out. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. You just... Yeah, you're fairly new. That's fine. <coughs> it's... Uh... You gotta start somewhere, but it's it's cool keeping it simple too. So, yeah, but I, I I actually think that game has a lot of potential. It's the the basic mechanic was um was already already in place. So uh, yeah, keep working on that. I'd like to. Well, both I and Bjorn, of course, would really like to see what what uh, what comes out of that. Do you have like a release date planned? <coughs> get another blue here. Put that over here, just saving it. Like how long, how long did you say you were working on it? Not too long, I think. But yeah, if you guys have ever have art, please just submit it to us. We'll check it out. If you ever want critique, if you want to just show it to us, we'll definitely would be more than happy to check it out. But uh, and then you could tell us if you wanna want a critique of something. We're more than you know. If you want it hacked, then uh, then Bjorn can hack it for you. Maybe if you don't want it hacked, Bjorn can hack it for you. <clears throat> you need sound <clears throat> yeah I've always I've not always but I've noticed in a lot of places sound unfortunately doesn't get enough uh, <clears throat> doesn't get enough uh, attention there's uh, there's a few games that really have in the most recent times that really taken advantage of sound. Uh, I think the 
indie game that comes to mind is um is uh i'm sure you guys have probably heard of it it's uh <coughs> crypt of the necro dancer which is really an, an interesting game and uh kind of this indie style indie indie pixel you can see here make it a little bigger and you kind of move around to the beat of the music and if you move properly in time uh you know you kind of build up multipliers and stuff there's also this sound if you need sounds by the way come i don't know if you know this Ah, uh, you need to you need to release uh yeah unfortunately that's the case you need like a hundred bucks to to be able to be an apple developer that's that's kind of the uh what do you call it uh <clears throat> um barrier to entry that's not very high to, uh, um I'll just tell you a long time ago the barrier was much higher it was like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get like uh, to get like um, turn my light on here get some more light on me the sun is, um, to be able to publish a game so the price has definitely gone down but yeah Bjorn's right you can get like oh exactly Bjorn <coughs> that's the link I was just about to post if you guys haven't seen this, it's um, bfxr.net. It's really cool, and it's just a sound generator. They have some popular ones. Here we can. You can. Sorry, that might have been too loud, but but you can generate sounds, and you move these things back and forth. And then what you can do is you can download these sounds, and they're free to use. Um. Releasing on Steam, I forgot what that it was. Uh, <coughs> I think on Steam, you, uh, if you're trying to go through green light, I know there's a cost. If I remember because there's the, the thing with steam is there's different ways you're trying to publish through steam that's one thing then there's uh, uh, going through green light which is you have to get a whole mess of people to vote for it uh, and then you have uh, what's called early access where um, you get in and then other people are kind of paying you even though your game's not done <coughs> but um let's uh let's 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 look yeah the steam green light submission fee is a hundred uh see the thing is that um the reason they do that actually it is very low in the big picture i know depending on your age and if you have a job I, even for me i mean some of the students i'm teaching they can't afford a hundred dollars that's a lot of money so um but i would say if you um but it's still very cheap if you compare it to when it was through publishers where you had to pay a lot of money uh you know to be able to just get a development kit but um Another thing you can do is actually <clears throat> um, just make a really good game. And when people are playing it, you can give out early copies or ask for money. Like, I guarantee you that if you work on your game and... What's up, Corgi? How's it going? Um, if you... Um, if you... Uh, ask your friends you know for two bucks you have to ask 50 people for two bucks and say you'll credit them i mean there you've paid for your uh you know your one year of your development uh like the the apple developer cost so <clears throat> there's always a way and that would be actually great because if you can if you know you can get two bucks out of 
you know, people for your game, you got something going right there. So you should try to take take that into account. But yeah, let's close these here. I don't think I need Pinterest right now either. Let's just close that. <coughs> but yeah, so I'm thinking um, these uh, this fist here. Yeah, you can also collect through Patreon. You can go through Kickstarter, definitely. <clears throat> we can look into that if if you guys are ready. I would say get your game ready, ready as far as you can, and then you can look into publishing. We can look into this. Maybe uh, Bjorn and I can even do a, an episode on uh, two devs on a couch about publishing costs and different ways to to fund get funding yeah if you're like a one-man team uh it's really hard unless something's amazing that you're gonna get publisher so but yeah um like i was saying i kind of like this fist uh thing here so <coughs> let's try to keep this logo flat i'm not gonna go and get caught up in too much of the detail so if you see what i'm doing here i'm just Kind of just lock that layer and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna trace right now now again people are gonna be like oh my god you're tracing you're stealing you can't trace yeah well that's not how it works uh this isn't really st in in that sense uh you don't have to worry that you're stealing we aren't we aren't stealing this uh this person's work here we're just using it as a <coughs> As a foundation. Actually, what I let me do it this a different way. There's an easier way to do this. I can come back and put those curves in later. Let's keep it. Sh Actually, let's keep it sharp edged and see what it feels like if I kept these really sharp edges. Because at the end of the day, people are gonna know that. Okay, this is. Uh, <coughs> this is. Um, that a stroke on there this is a fist so don't be scared uh, at the end of the day you know like stealing would be taking this and uh, and you know just publishing it putting it somewhere like right into my game even where it says can stock I just leave it there and I I don't pay any money that's basically stealing but what I'm doing here is just using it as a foundation for, for the work so just get this part here I'm not getting too caught up on the <coughs> on the having everything perfect exactly what's up Clements Ross Uh, Clements is asking, uh, I'm starting to lose motivation and interest in my game. Do you have any tips to keep going even if you feel that way? Well, uh, I can tell you the, um, Clements, that's a really big thing. You know what's really interesting was our, our previous uh, talk that we just had on Two Devs on the Couch uh, last week was exactly that. Uh, open these blinds slightly, get a little bit more light in here. Uh, was exactly that it was about motivation versus discipline um, so that would that would actually help a, a lot exactly what you're asking but hey I can talk about it anyway now just a little bit um, I would say when you're losing motivation uh, maybe it's because you things aren't going the way you want or the idea you had maybe the these are all I'm speculating because I don't know all of the things you're going through right now we can talk about those please feel free to share what part of it you're you're not motivated oh yeah and Corgi saying you're not stealing you're using it as guideline reference yeah definitely but yeah Corgi um, <coughs> not Corgi Clements sorry buddy um, uh, what happens sometimes is uh, depending where you are how long you've spent working on something 
you might realize the idea wasn't strong enough or what a very more typical thing that can happen is that you over compensated you you know you're like i'm gonna make this game and it's gonna be an mmo and it's gonna you know have procedurally generated worlds and it's gonna have you know uh online one billion people on the same server multiplayer you know so you get this uh kind of big thing you <coughs> you 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 create this situation where you're biting off more than you can chew and it's really interesting um uh it, it it puts you in that situation where you're like holy crap this is more than what i can pull off and it's very easy to get demotivated but maybe you can uh yes habibi number one <coughs> but um clements maybe you can tell me where you are in your development what's going on what's wh how far are you along what's going on what what are, talk about what difficulties you're having because it'll be easier to give you some more feedback about exactly what's going on maybe maybe Bjorn, bjorn's here too in the chat maybe we can help you find what the actual problem is just uh you know it might be it might be something really really simple or it might be complex but uh just say like okay this is what my game is this is what i was trying to do this is what the problem is or these are the problems that i'm going through right now it, it might uh, i might be able to give you a little bit better feedback but yeah i would say definitely a lot of the times uh <clears throat> It's, it has a lot to do with scope. But, uh, but the other thing is, um, as we mentioned last week, you should definitely check that out. We, it should be on YouTube. Uh, but if it's not on YouTube, actually, it should be on our Twitch uh, as well. Actually, go to Twitch. I don't think we've gotten it on the YouTube channel yet. But go on Twitch and uh, <clears throat> it's called Discipline versus Motivation. Something like that was the title. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a very possible thing that can happen is that, uh, <coughs> you end up overwhelming yourself. But yeah, how, how long have you been working on your project now? Sorry, I apologize if uh, you've already told me this in the past and I've forgotten. I, <laughs> I, I talk to so many people throughout the day that uh, sometimes I forget what's what and uh, whose project was whose. So if you can just remind me again, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Can you get that for me, please? It might be important. Can you find out, please? Sorry, I was getting a phone call. <coughs> right now, if you remember the previous... Previous thing I was doing. The previous artwork from last week uh, I was keeping it keeping it kind of simple I'm not worrying about the color right now I'm just trying to get the idea in place and then I can go back and uh, do that later go in and get the colors right right now we just want the idea <coughs> Yeah, Bjorn is right. We could also just play your game. We can give you some feedback that way as well. If you just stuck, you don't know where to go to next. That's also a, another thing. So, but you've been working a couple months on it and it's just not going where you want it to go. <coughs> yeah, Bjorn is talking through game dev company right now. <coughs> This is me. Mm. <coughs> it 
all I'm doing right now. Right now I'm just doing some shadows here. see what the hell it is I'm doing. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. That's okay. <coughs> okay, can you give us some more details? Like, what is the thing you're stuck or frustrated on? You're just, you're having issues with the game. Uh, you know, the robot. You have to remind me again, buddy. Sorry. <coughs> Maybe we'll just start from the beginning and be like, okay, this is what I mean. Yeah, actually finishing it. So how far along are you said that you've been working on it a couple months, but uh, Like what parts of it are you stuck on like have you gotten the main mechanic? Okay, the main mechanic have you gotten that working? You could also send the game to us. If you have a build, I can play it, play around with it right now. We can quickly take. So it's just art at the moment. So are you having problems with the visuals? Is that what you're saying? I mean, the, the main thing you should concern yourself with is the, yeah, well, art and, art and level design, there's some really difficult things. Yeah, Clements, you could send us something. All of you can send stuff to us anytime. Oh, I missed this, Clement. Sorry. It's a simple 2D game, really killing enemies and whatnot. I tried to make it simple just so I can manage, but it's like when I'm testing it over and over, it just doesn't feel like fun. Maybe I need to take a break. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed that where you wrote that. Um, yeah. Uh... <coughs> You know what's interesting? A lot of these, uh, um, there's a lot of actually like uh, I I always use this as an as an example. Um, uh, what's the game? Oh, I don't like that. That looks like crap. Um, <clears throat> Mark of the Ninja. They had they didn't know till the very end. You know to get the fun. It wasn't fun for the longest time. It was only in the last few months where they found the actual fun in the game <clears throat> and that had to do again with like level design and balancing so um your game might be actually okay it's just that level design and balancing part that's giving you the problems so that that could be a thing <coughs> But, um, but calm. Yeah, if you, you could always send us a, if you can send us a build, we can check it out. It, it might be a little easier. <coughs> but if you're, if you're getting, remember at the end of the day, guys, is try to make the game as fun as possible before the, you care too much about the art. And when you kind of, have found the fun there then you can continue building from there of course some games you they require a lot that you need that art in place that's also a, a situation but i would say like um <coughs> i'm really not liking that shadow but let's see let's see what happens as i continue with it i might have to do something I might have to do it a different way Let's 
do that. That might look like crap later. I might have to rework that fist. <coughs> uh, it's okay. Could be worse. Maybe I just put some lines here for where the fingers would be. Sure, take your time. But yeah, same same with you, Clement. Definitely, if you want to send us something, we can also check it out. And uh, one more thing, Clements, that you should check out is um, have other. Have you been having other people play it? Make sure you have other people playing your game because they can give you some valuable feedback as well. You should uh, definitely try to have people play it as much as possible and trying to have new people play it is always good. Uh, not always the same people because what will happen is those people will get <coughs> those people will get really good and uh, and then they won't give you the same type of feedback that you would need you probably might end up having to you know switch around some friends and what you can do is you can also you know ask people like say like hey if you help me test my game I'll uh, you know put your name in the credits or something like that as well so that's uh, people love to have their uh, <coughs> to give their opinions <laughs> But uh, you should be able to filter through them and think like, okay, what is, uh, what's, what can I take that's valuable? Whatever critique or feedback people give you, you should uh, not take it, you know, to heart as well, because they're not really attacking you as a person. They're just trying to give you some some type of feedback. Hmm. Here, let's check it out here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just save this. Always remember, save every five to 10 minutes. Notice how I didn't save. Bad, 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 bad me. Look, I just spoke for, how long have I been here? An hour? I've been here an hour and I didn't save. Look how stupid I am. <coughs> bad. Bad or rash. All right, let's check out your game, buddy. Hold on, let's see here. Just extract here. Yes, batter rash, 50 lashes with a wet noodle. Yes. Okay, alien invasion. Uh, let's let's quickly check out your. Is any of this working? Well, you've done a lot here. So we got controls, <coughs> space, ground. Okay, W A S D, space bar to shoot, shift. You've, <laughs> you got the wrong guy playing. I'm, I'm such a console person. I'm going to be like hitting the wrong buttons and getting my ass kicked. But, uh, but let, let's see what I can do. So W A S D space bar boost was shift and land was Y. Okay. I'll try to remember some of these boost doesn't work right now. That's okay. Cool. No, not a problem. <coughs> Should I do the tutorial or just go straight? Let's just go straight. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, crap. See, I told you. Let's, uh... 
<laughs> Bjorn, you need to come and play this. I suck, dude. I suck so bad. Give me a controller. <laughs> Bjorn. Okay, well, I get the idea. Even though I, I suck. Yeah, let, let's try the tutorial. Hello! I'm a little man on the grass. Press A and W and right and... Something's off the screen. Okay, cool. That's my guy. Okay, let's do that. Cool, cool, cool. Press A and, A and D, not W. What the hell am I saying? And right to move left and right. Press W to jump. Okay, cool, cool. Definitely, this is uh, Bjorn's territory. <coughs> You've got the the crap player now who doesn't play PC games. Watch out, you have to jump over this. Did I step on it by accident, or was that supposed to happen? Let's go. Okay, I have a tie. Is my belly button showing here? This is a frontal nudity. This is where, this is an enemy. He will try to kill you. Press space bar to throw grenades at him. Ah yes, ah yes, Habibi. You can't handle. Oops. Do I have a limit of those? No. Can I jump on this? No. I guess not. Clements, I got DC. I heard what you said about people testing it, and I have a couple of friends who are willing to do so. That's good. That's important uh, to have people testing. Definitely, um, definitely have people testing <coughs> because they'll give you feedback that you'll end up. It'll end up really helping you with problems. What one key thing that I can uh, suggest is that uh, you, um, when people are playing, try not to tell them what to do. If you look at one of our very first videos, I think it's on YouTube talking about user testing. We give a lot of tips there, but uh, try not to tell them what to do. Let them figure out on their own. And then if you see that people are getting really excited, that's a good thing. No infinite grenades. Okay, I can't hurt myself. So, uh, is this kind of... <coughs> is there a way out of here? Or am I like... Uh, is that the end of the tutorial? Maybe I go the other way? Let's go the other way, Habibi. Ah, yes. I seem to be mature. Because I have, uh, you know, white sideburns and a little strip of white in my hair. So... That's that's a thing. Let's go. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <coughs> so what you want to do is what you have right now is thinking like, okay, I got a guy. He's a pretty mature macho man here and uh, he uh, can throw grenades. So what you want to do now is try to create different situations. Um, yeah, don't worry about the graphics. These are something right now, but these are good placeholders already. But so now what you want to do is you want to think, I have a guy that can move around and he can throw grenades. I want to come up with four different ways that he can use a grenade and try to think about it. Um, one possibility, for example, let me throw this grenade here. See, see for a sec. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of has a, there's a gravity of some sort. Okay. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, and I can't hurt myself. That might be a thing too, like when you shoot the grenade, you can hurt yourself. So you have to be careful. Um, but um, you want to think, what are the things that I can do? Oh, okay, you got some character here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. I remember you showed it to us last time. And also you had a <coughs> Didn't you have this little alien guy that was green that like when you killed the thing he turned into that slimy green monster Wasn't that wasn't that the one? I think you sent that 
Uh, I guess we can also, uh, we can also test off of stream as well, but I'm just doing it now just to give some feedback, but yeah, let me, let me get back to what I was doing, but I can also give you an example. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Nightbot. Nightbot's an asshole. Shut up, Nightbot. <coughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. But yeah, we can talk about art here. This art looks cool. You can throw those in, but um, Calm, I definitely recommend uh, uh, that you um, that you think about what you can do with that grenade and come try to come up with four things. You can try three, but try to come up with four different ways of using it. And then if you can't think like, what can I adjust to the grenade or to the person to give me that ability? For example, you might make it so that, let's say you can't come up, but you have to adjust the grenade so that it, it bounces now. And then think like, okay, how can I adjust the level to take advantage of the bouncing? So make this game about, you know, having fun with a grenade and being uh, having it be able to bounce. Another recommendation I can give is uh, <coughs> is that you um, look at other games where they use grenades. Like for example, if you've ever played the game Worms, it's really old and classic. If you, I'm positive you've played it, but if you haven't, go check it out. Just, uh, learn how to spell grenade, but, uh, but check out worms and how the grenade works and worms and it bounces around and stuff. And that might give you some inspiration and ideas. How do other games that have grenades, how do they use them? How do the grenades work there? But yeah, um, Clements, we can test definitely during the stream on stream or off stream, just you tell us what you would like. Uh, and if we have time, we'll do... Oh, check that out. That was by accident, actually. I didn't want to do that. But hey, it's like Incredible Hulk and Greyhawk mixed together. Um, <clears throat> like the Incredible Hulk was the crazier one, really powerful. And then Bruce Banner, I think it's Bruce Banner, created... He's a scientist, remember? And he creates this formula to get rid of because he sees the sees his you know hulk as a curse so he eventually comes up with this thing and he turns into the gray hawk where he's a little more smart but he is not as powerful now that's kind of the disadvantage bjorn is saying have you bought have you thought about what could the main goal of the game be what could the core loot be and calm is saying grenades is not something i'm using right now yeah, but definitely how Bjorn's saying, try to think, what is the core loop of this game? What is the main thing that the person's going to do over and over and over? And what is kind of the repercussion of that thing? I think Bjorn and I have to go over core loops in the future. <coughs> but um, but let's let's take that color off right now for a moment so I don't get influenced too much. Just... Uh, We'll even make it gray. That way I am not, uh, <coughs> yeah. So we got a, got this fist thing and, but let's see, there's these wires and cables and these tubes that are connecting. It's kind of dark. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. All these have these kind of cyber punk, uh, wires and there's these glowing green and buttons too we should think about buttons but maybe we can have some tubes coming out of this uh tubes coming out of this guy <coughs> it'd be interesting if the tubes came out like really right into his muscle like this <coughs> maybe maybe we can try to just try to think like okay if he had if he had some like that'd be crazy well what if it just came straight out i don't know Let, let's play around with that and just make a new layer so i'm not screwing that stuff up it'd be really crazy if it was like right in the center i've never even thought about that like it's like coming straight out 
no, that's that's too uh, too straight. Let's make it a little. Yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, and uh, <coughs> again, I'm not really using um, using a Wacom here, so my uh, this might not be as beautiful as it could be, but but that's okay. I'm not I'm not trying to make anything magical right now. I'm just trying to get the feeling. I can come back and move these all around. Yeah, Clements is saying we should turn our YouTube videos into podcasts. That would be sweet. We were thinking about doing that. Uh, just uh, I'm not sure are we going to or not. But definitely it was uh, it was in the dis it was a discussion point. I can say at least it's really crazy. It comes straight out of that muscle. <laughs> Wonder if there should be like another one. Like they really had to. Yeah. Really had to like jack this up. Here I'm. Of course, since I'm using a mouse, everything's not perfect, but that's okay because. Um, I don't really mind <coughs> right now. Again, like I said, I, I can go back with the Wacom on this and really make it like super precise. Or I can go in even with a mouse. The nice thing about Vector is like, you know, you can just do this. You're not really tied to redrawing. That's what a lot of people kind of... Uh, miss the opportunity when they're working with gra uh, vector graphics uh like i can zoom in all the way look look the details not lost i can move like a, any point i want any way that i want it to be so yeah really but that's like the details already point oh looks sweet by the way cool thanks thanks Clements. <coughs> yeah, maybe I leave that that way. But um, but yeah, maybe we should have some more tubes along the bottom. Ah, oh, com send an explosion here. Let's see. Aha! Look at that. Let's uh, let's zoom in here. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Did you animate that your yourself? Tom. That's pretty cool. Good job, man. <coughs> it's like a little mushroom cloud. Yeah, if you guys want to ever send us stuff, you know, we definitely are excited to see that. That's what this channel is all about. It's this channel is more about you guys, not us. So uh, please, uh, please, you know, kind of share share your stuff that's the whole point of this is sharing with people imagine you had a tube jamming right into your armpit dude holy crap that would feel so uncomfortable let's do that i'm gonna do that that would be awesome let's let's pick a slightly darker gray just so i uh so i can see it a little easier but holy crap man how uncomfortable would that be? Like you just have this tube coming right out of your armpit. Oh my God. Maybe if it like even had like latches and stuff there. Wow, that would be so uncomfortable. Let me get rid of these. I don't like these. <clears throat> I want this to be more robotic. Uh, let's let's use like a polygon. And uh, let me just remove this this piece. Here. Oh, wrong button. Remove this piece and just make it solid. Just really kind of. I want I want this kind of like. Uh, <coughs> I don't know this kind of like something here to. Hmm. Be like this thing like gripping into the guy. Let's 
just flip this real quick. That is okay, Habibi. Maybe have one tube disconnected. Yeah, dude. Hanging down from the arm. And that looks like stuff would be like... <clears throat> like the fluids all squirting out of it. And he's like just so powerful. He can't like... Uh, you know. He's a super hacker. Super hack. He doesn't limit himself at all. He's just like, just <coughs> like, fuck it. I'm just going to do whatever to, uh, to get the power that I want, which is like really awesome. That will be like, oh yeah, I have the power. I need more. It reminds me a little bit of the the what's that guy from the one crappier incredible hulk movie where it's just like uh you know he's like um doing whatever it takes to become powerful if you remember that so we need to kind of make this look a little more 3d because it's very flat here it's kind of Turn that a little bit. I have to put a little thing on the top here. Because if not, it'll be like looking kind of weird. Can I do that even? I have no idea. Let's, let's empty that. I might have to redo this in a different way. If I can't figure out that uh, the 3D feeling for this. The thing is like sometimes you don't have to be perfect with stuff like people are very forgiving they just get an idea and they're like yeah 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 that's right and then but in reality the proportions are like really crap ah this is crap dude that's not what i want maybe i have to just kind of draw it in there kind of hit or miss oh shit wrong button mm. <coughs> reminds me of Bane in the older Batman when they pumped the green stuff into a skinny guy to get him big yeah yeah that's true we should we should maybe look at Bane for some of these uh, some of these stuff too we might get some ideas Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, check this out. And yeah, look at all those tubes in his body. Yeah, check that out. That's the bane they needed in the movie, not this guy. Habibi. Come on, Habibi. You can do it. I think that's okay right now. We can come back and fix this later. We can fix it later, Habibi. go kind of like this maybe I want the wire a little thicker too wire when you're from Delaware growing up in Delaware you don't say wire you say wire 
And you don't say water, you say water. <coughs> I'm gonna get me some water. Habibi. Get some water, hab water Habibi. Darn it. Darn it. <coughs> Darn it. Do I have snapping on? What the hell is going on? Smart guides. Snap to point. Actually, I can leave sm smart, uh, smart guys on. Just turn that snapping off. It's pissing me off. Why the hell are you snapping? Ugh. Guides. Hide guides. Snap to grid. Don't snap to grid. Well, turn off smart guys. What happens now? Maybe I'm so, oh, I'm so close. Look how huge this is. I was like 2000%. That's probably why, but it's fine, dude. Whatever, man, whatever. I can fix this later. <coughs> I can fix it, you know, I can fix it. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. That's that's good enough for right now. So what were we saying? We we're gonna make like a tube coming out, but like be like not working. So let's have like a broken tube or something. <coughs> <coughs> Where would that be painful? Right here on the joint. That would be awesome. Imagine like it's busted right here and coming out of his elbow. You can do it, Habibi. Oh, yes. oh, crap. I hate you, Nightbot. But I forgot I got to save too. So thank you for reminding me. I still hate you, though. Let's change those. No, I don't like it. I don't go back. <coughs> let's let's put that right here. Like imagine if he had like a tube running here or something and then the tube was just busted right here. <coughs> no. How would that look? He would have like a tube running right here above this. Let's do a darker tube. It's a strange song. Nah, that looks like crap. I don't like it. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's not working. It's not working, Habibi. <coughs> Maybe we can just have a tube here like this. Was it the end? Nah, nah. that looks like crap. We'll figure out. There will be a tube here shooting stuff. We need to super hack Nightbot. Rule number one of development, save. Rule number two, if you're wondering what to do next, see rule number one. Exactly. Rule number two, overdose on Coca-Cola. Yeah, we don't have any Coke here. Or do we? Maybe, uh, maybe, 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 maybe I'm going to go turn that one thing so we can get rid of this skin here. 
because I want it to be light. We can get moving with this one. Oops. Yes. So we hide kind of that previous picture because I think I got enough here to play with that I can keep moving forward without that image. <coughs> yes. Probably need a shadow underneath of this. <laughs> yeah, we'll think about lighting later, but just to discuss it right now, we're kind of now stuck with the lighting based off of the lighting that was in that other picture that we borrowed this from where um, uh, the, it's kind of like from above and slightly over to one side slightly, but you can say it's basically above. So that would mean that all these wires here, we would also need to uh, <coughs> put in the lighting for them, but I think I can do that in a, a little bit later. There's a trick I can do to cheat and do it very quickly. But uh, maybe I need like a line here though. Cause I feel like uh, there's gotta be like a line. Oops. Actually, that looked kind of cool too, but that wasn't what I was trying to do. Just made his arm thicker. But I just want to extend this a little bit. I don't want the uniform. I think that's okay. I'm gonna connect it here. Something like that. A little bit. Can work out on it more later. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, so we need more tubes. <coughs> these are interesting too, these little pieces. Look like that they can be removed. Maybe we can add that in later. <coughs> Where does she have it? She has this robot hand and she got these tubes. Wonder if we can do that too, but should we do that now or work on tubes more? <coughs> or should we keep it simple? We should be careful too, because this is going to be a logo. It's not going to be the, you know, uh, <coughs> because this is the feeling I'm trying to go for. So I want to be really careful that I'm not sitting here like putting too much detail into something that is going to be, you know, you're not going to see all that. It might be like a silhouette feeling. So rule number four, don't throw beavers in wooden houses. That could be a problem. Yes, very true. <coughs> very true, Habibi, very true. Very true. Very true, Habibi. Should that go all the way like that? I don't know. I don't know, Habibi. I don't know. Please use an anchor point. That is an anchor point. Save! Damn it, Jim. Pum pum pa dum pa dum pum 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 pa dum pa dum pum pum. 
pum pum pa dum pa dum pum 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 pa dum pa dum pum pum <coughs> do i like this hair i don't know if i like this hair or not do i really like that hair maybe i do maybe i don't maybe i do maybe i don't who knows who knows what I like? Who knows? I don't know what I like. If that comes up again, remind me I'm gonna uncheck that box because it's freaking annoying as hell when it comes up. fingers like this <clears throat> hey thanks for dropping in man see you next time hey uh we might not be here uh tomorrow we're gonna be in um games first it's a big convention we're gonna try to stream from there but uh if we're not around we'll see you uh on thursday with bjorn thanks for dropping in This should kind of like rest on his arm, maybe. Remove some of these points. I don't really need them all. Kind of like you want to have an overlap. Maybe this might become a silhouette. I don't know yet. back of the wrist. Can fix that up a little bit later. There'll be these little things connected into his fingers, like... Go down! I don't need more points. I need less points, Habibi. Is there a point five? Can I do point five? I've done this too big. Too big, Habibi! We might not even see part of this. I don't know! I don't know, Habibi. I don't know. some yes that's the power glove portion <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, that guy smoking's killing me. It's like I can't close my window because I want fresh air, but I get cigarette smoke. So that's like, he gets the smoke and I get to have free cancer. It's pretty nice. We'll put a tube in here somewhere, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else should we have? Some of these lines like this somehow. We can put in there. Let's save, save. something got to be starting something oh gotta be careful don't want to be sued singing other people's songs uh yeah what was i doing i was trying to get this feeling so 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 we got like these little looks like just pieces where things are connected so we got to kind of think what is the way that <coughs> These pieces, like if I was a, uh, if I was a robot engineer, Android engineer in the future, what would I, how would I, you know, dissect my, uh, you know, Androids? Just draw some lines kind of where the muscle groups might be on this Android but we won't be sure because they're androids of the future but uh, we can use basic muscle groups as a kind of some type of guide Notice how I'm just drawing off onto the side here because that's going to be going away eventually anyway. I'll just uh, crop those out so it's not that big of a deal. And uh, don't get too concerned if, you know, this isn't the exact way muscles are supposed to be because it's the future. It's the year 2000. You can do whatever you want in the year 2000. Draw these little muscle groups here. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe if I bring this here, somehow, somehow do that. We can, of course, look at references of, of, you know, bodybuilders and look at the contours of them or, or look at anatomy pictures and look where the muscles are going and follow those. That would be the right thing to do. But uh, since this is just a practice, it's kind of not real to think, I wouldn't worry too much about it. <coughs> we just want it to look cool. This isn't the time for people to judge us because this can also be a shadow here that people don't see. So you don't know what's happening in those shadows. The ninja muscles. Kind of want to move all these points over here now where this shadow is. Because I, I would say that's probably where they should be connecting. Oh. So I'm 
something like that. Let's bring this here. <coughs> now you might be like, oh, these are all even. It doesn't feel good. So all we gotta do is actually, uh, let's, uh, let's just delete that and bring this line up. <coughs> and you might be like, Arash, but this is boring. They're all uniform. So we can just go and fix that real quick. Just grab this. And what I can do is I can just grab all this stuff here because I have it on a separate layer. I can save first of all, because something's acting really weird. Yeah, and uh, I can just grab everything here <coughs> and uh, let's group it actually. And then uh, I'm going to just do something maybe like this. No, I can up it a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. That looks like crap. Uh, is it because it's round basic? There we go. For some reason it was round. And we can play around with these. Uh, maybe that looks cool. Uh, yeah, that looks a little better. Remember, kids, always sub your artwork. You too, Arash. Yes, Nightbot. Remember, shut the hell up. <coughs> so the tubes should be like, you know, kind of the same length, but the, not the same length. The, same thickness. God, this guy smoke is killing me. It's okay. I'm going to be moving to a new house soon. <coughs> Hopefully they don't smoke there. And that'll suck. It's out of one, uh, what is it? Out of the frying pan into the fire. Out of the pot into the fire? What? Out of the... Out of something into something. All right. Don't piss me off. Nightbot. So I don't want that line there. Yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's connect all these bad boys. I don't know how I feel about. It. No, that's yeah, that's that's weird. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> these should be closer. I feel like they have to be connected to something. Or do they? I don't know. Maybe he needs like room to be able to move his shit around. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should they get moved down? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe. Just move that kind of like this maybe but not so he kind of stretches it i feel like he needs something to hold these in place though like a like um you know like a bracelet or something kind of because it's like they're not tied down in any way you know so it's kind of like Kind of like they're just dangling in the air. Damn it, Jim. Yeah. Ugh. That's not what I wanted, Habibi. Save! Bum, 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 bum. What is going on with this, Habibi? I don't need all this. I'm a, all right. That's got to go away because that's starting to get really on my nerves here. That's 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 not good. Minus. I don't know why it's not treating that as an anchor point. It's pissing me off royally. Let's shift C. Let's get rid of this. Shift C. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. So, so, so. That should be like 
closed and stuff. Yeah, because now it feels like, yeah, we need something else here. But now it feels like it has something to attach to. Come. <coughs> Come, did I miss this spaceship? Oh, yeah, this is the spaceship you had in your game, right? Yeah, it does look like the Enterprise. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thanks. Yeah, it's a cool ship. Yeah, I like, uh, well, both Bjorn and I like the, um, the style of the pixels. <clears throat> so that's definitely, uh, the way to go, you know? You know what I mean, Habibi? I don't know how I feel about that. Something got to attach here, though. Like right here. like the space between the what's up wrapped how you doing what's going on where you been have you been ninjaing have you been secretly stalking me here <coughs> been quiet so I don't hear you <coughs> think we were talking about that last time you were you were being a ninja Yeah, Bjorn is in the the game dev chat, and I'm in my own uh, my own world, Habibi. I'm in my own world. Ah, yes. So we kind of got this, uh, you know. Maybe we should change. Should I make this that color for right now? Nah. See, it gets lost. You gotta think about that too. <coughs> See what I, we might want to do is actually make this color like that. Makes it pop a little more, but it's okay right now. We'll leave it. It is okay right now, Habibi. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I'm gonna put something right here. Something to kind of clip it to the. You've been here since yesterday. Holy crap. You're like a ninja. What the hell? Where's my pen tool? There we go. Ah, yes. He's like a ninja in disguise. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna put something on this. I feel like he needs something here, like on his elbow. <coughs> it's really exciting music. Something like that. That way it's kind of like, yeah, I got my, my elbow pad. Punch you in your face with my elbow pad. <coughs> mm. Actually, now that I'm doing that, I have a feeling he should have like something here too coming off of his shoulder. He's like a robotic football player or something. Something like 
that. Maybe. I don't know. I might get rid of that later. Let's see how I feel about it. <coughs> Again, don't get too caught up on this, um, you know, this, how it's just going off like that because you can adjust that at any time. That's just, that's going to get cropped out anyway, probably to a point. Just haven't decided where I'm cropping it just yet. Like most of that might even get cropped. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, we also have to think like, where will this logo go? I have a feeling like maybe it has to be right around here. Maybe like the cables will come from the thing in there as well. Or maybe not. Yes, I will save Nightbot. You're pissing me off. Wrapped, we are making a, a logo, a game logo. <coughs> so it's called Super Hack. So what I did was I went out on Pinterest and got some sexy guys and some pictures and images that are kind of cool. And then I'm using those as a way, uh, way there. Yes, it's a battle of the Habibis. Ah, yes. So uh, kind of using that as, um, how can I say? Uh, as an inspiration. That glove is kind of getting me inspired now. I'm feeling like there should be something there. So, not too much, but but something. But something, Habibi. He needs a the glove. Ah, yes. That way he kind of has like a power glove going, but not really. <coughs> I feel like he, well, that's like literally attached to his arm. That's just holding the cables. Maybe, maybe he does need something here though. Holding the other half. Let's just bring this in and, and just draw another little kind of thing here, holding it in place. We don't know like what are the circuits here. There might be little LEDs and shit. So he took photos of you secretly. Brat Bjorn told me everything. You can't fool me. Luckily he isn't reading the chat, so he will never know that we know the truth. Yep. You you guys. Yep. I don't even I didn't read that. That's accidental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I get sometimes caught up in what I'm doing and then I'm like, I forget to look over. <coughs> so Raps, what's working on? What's, what, what are you working on, by the way? I, I'm trying to remember exactly. Do you have any news or updates to share with us? <coughs> I was, uh, we were talking earlier that we, you should remember that this is about <coughs> The game dev company is more about you guys, not just us. It's all helping each other. So, uh, <clears throat> so please share what you're what you're doing, what's going on. If you know what I mean, Habibi. Let's grab this. I have an idea what I'm going to do is make a copy here. Really make him feel uncomfortable. And just <clears throat> let's make this one a little smaller, but it's still going to the same tube. So we can even just copy this tube, I would say. Actually, I think there's a way to copy the tube in a different way. I think if I grab just one anchor, no, just this anchor point. And then hold all I think damn it it's all right it's all right not a problem not a problem we'll just do it that way it's not a problem Habibi <coughs> I 
Oh, oh. Let's get rid of these ones here. I think I would like it just so it was kind of like it's part of this tube as well. <coughs> I don't know yet. I don't know, Habibi. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, huh? Maybe I don't feel, maybe I do feel. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I think we can actually move this now. I don't think I'm gonna use this anymore. Just to get it out of the way. I don't like the way that's wrapping there. Damn it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's just grab these like this. I don't need all this. Uh. <clears throat> ah, you're working on three. Okay. Let's review. Illuminati confirmed. This is the face of game Illuminati. I'm on vacation. I'm starting school tomorrow. I'm looking for work at the moment. Yeah, what are you studying? Oh, you're studying 3D modeling animation. Okay. Corgi says he's starting a Udemy course that teaches Unity Max, 3D Max, and Mudbox all in one. Holy crap! That's a crazy ass course. Oh my god, how many lessons? One billion lessons. Oh, Rapt, you're in university. Did you mention what university you were going to? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. What year are you in? You're just starting like as a freshman? Yeah, Udemy does have a lot of courses. Oh, wow. 90, holy crap. That's crazy, Habibi. That is uh, crazy, crazy. Muchos crazy. Let's get rid of some of these wires here. That looked a little better actually. But these have these little things. Should I put them there or should I leave these like holes? Maybe I'll leave them like holes. We know some people from Mexico. I have a few friends from there. They're working in different game companies here in Finland. Benjamin Anderson, yeah, he's one of our friends. Heart Beast. Mm. Speaking of which, Benjamin has uh, some Udemy courses as well. Hopefully, we're going to have him in for an interview soon, which will be kind of cool. Yeah, his pixel, pixel stuff's pretty awesome. I, <clears throat> um, I've been following him for a couple years now. Um, uh, Definitely, we're gonna have to have him in and <coughs> can do an interview. Maybe you can hook you guys up. <coughs> what we're looking forward to doing in the future is uh, trying to bring in some some bigger people to we can interview, give advice. <coughs> we can give advice to everybody. Did I save? Save! <coughs> he 
Yeah, your fire giant was cool, Bjorn. Do not be so hard on yourself, Habibi. Do not underestimate the power of the fire giant. <coughs> Let me just move these out of the way. Kind of got some inspiration here. Actually, I think I want some buttons here, maybe. Because we wanted buttons, didn't we, Habibis? Bjorn wanted some, like... Some buttons. Be careful i don't want too many shadows here <coughs> i don't even know if i'm going to put any shadows on these they could be seen as buttons or leds or what have you just to add some some variety here oops <coughs> Move the buttons. <coughs> Sad giant, yeah. You just need big white eyes. Yeah, he needs to be crying. When he cries, actually, he's gonna, like, smoke comes out of his eyes because he's, like, you know, putting out the fire in his eyes. You should use, like, Visine, it gets the red out. Yeah, Bjorn's still struggling with the giant mechanic, how to make it a nice part of the core loop of the game. <clears throat> Nightbot's pissing me off, telling me to save. Oh, it reminds you of Fallout 4? <coughs> oh, I guess that's a good thing, oh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, Habibi. <coughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I kind of was bringing the whole, uh, you know, your Mr. Uh, Power Glove guy over here. <coughs> Super hacker guy. <coughs> so uh, let's let's uh, convert some of these, I think. <coughs> I think I'm liking the angle of these tubes. So let's go ahead and convert these strokes to... Uh, to actual, uh, let's save first. Let's convert these strokes over to, uh, damn it. <coughs> we will change them to outline, outline strokes. I'll just join them together. So it's just one piece. <coughs> Same with all of these. Object. I gotta set up a shortcut for that, I think. <coughs> <coughs> Same with these. Object. Man, this guy's smoke is killing. I think this guy lives on the balcony. Smoking. <coughs> Feed on Arash's art. Today is a good day to stay inside and do developer things. It's chilly and drizzly and generally crappy. What's up, DreamBlocks TV? How's it going? <clears throat> we're just working on this. Uh, we're working on making a, a game logo called Super Hack. <clears throat> I got some inspirations here. I'm just drawing up a nice logo. I haven't worked on the font stuff yet, but getting a basic thing in place. 
Ah, oh, thanks for the thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, is this your, this your first time, isn't it? Basically, what uh, <clears throat> what uh, we do here at Game Dev Company is we have uh, Mondays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We have a uh, kind of different episodes. Mondays we do art. Tuesdays we do kind of dev talks. Bjorn and I, my my uh, partner in crime, and then Thursdays Bjorn is doing uh, <clears throat> development. And uh, we're actually here for you guys. So if you guys have games and art you want to share with us to try out on the stream, we're we're uh, very open and welcome to that. We're kind of here to provide you feedback and help so you can make the games that you want to make. But thanks for the follow. Cool. Well, welcome. <clears throat> Where are you from, Dreamblocks? Corgi, it's like great weather over here. That sucks that you got a uh, drizzly. We got nice sun. <clears throat> oh, you need to make a game for school. That's awesome. Bjorn and I actually met each other in school. We had to make a game together. Our master's thesis was actually done together and we made a game together. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're from Austria. That's awesome. I think my wife has an uncle from Austria. <clears throat> Really awesome. We're here in Finland. Kind of losing the detail here. How can I? I might have to keep that that way. Work on a different set of shadows in a different way. <clears throat> yeah, game dev company is Bjorn. And this is me here. We basically work together on the same stream. <clears throat> ah, you need to do everything alone. That's crazy. That's not how the real world works. <clears throat> yeah, but we got all of our friends here. Raps and Corgis here. Had Calm here earlier. <clears throat> We got some secret ninjas here. I I know they're here, but I'm not calling them out. They're hiding in the shadows. They are ninja, ninja fans. Yeah, if you if you don't have too much experience, Game Maker is a good engine. There's also another one called Stencil, depending on how deep you want to really go. <clears throat> yeah, and Com is using Unity. You can use Unity for 2D as well. Depends really what you need to do at the end at the end of the day. Oh. <clears throat> I'm kind of liking where I have this so far. Let's let like what I was doing earlier actually. Let's uh, let's try to see if I can um, do that shadow I was talking about. Let's see if I remember how to do these uh, draw inside. I think I can do it this way, right? Let's grab a color here. No, didn't want to do that. Draw normal. Let's grab a color first, maybe. First delete that drawing I just did. But yeah, we're basically game developers. Oh, that's awesome, man. You have a di it's basically a diploma program. That's pretty nice. Doing it alone is a lot of work, but you can do it. I have friends that have done the, their stuff on their own. Just keep your scope small and make sure it's really polished. Don't try to make World of Warcraft by yourself because that's going to be hard. You're never going to graduate. <clears throat> what are you looking to do, Dream? Are you trying to get into the games industry? Or you want to do the indie thing or yeah they do raps is right they asked you to do the impossible I decided to write about game development and steps of de developing so I just decided to make a game and show right how it works yeah not really an idea just the game genre 
that's pretty interesting we did a part of my thesis was about writing through the steps of development and how things work as well that's that's really interesting that you're doing that <coughs> I did kind of those steps and then uh, Bjorn did his on procedurally generated worlds. Big difference. <clears throat> but yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, if we can help you in any way, definitely, please. Anybody in our in the company, I, I see everybody here as being part of our company in a sense that we're all here to help each other. So you guys ever need help that's what we're here for to help each other out <clears throat> i wish i kind of had people to help me out when i was younger and in school of course i had bjorn so but he was a bastard he didn't help me all the time so uh let's see here draw inside now let's see if i can can i do it now that's the wrong color habibi can I, can I do it that way? Can I do it this way? What about this way? Can I do it like this? This is the first time I'm using this technique to do this, so. Ah, yeah, I can. Okay, so if I can do that, that means that, the hell? That means that I should be able to use a brush too. There we go. I knew that it could be done. I knew it. Let's just make my stroke bigger. I ah, yes. Little bigger, Habibi. Little bigger, little bigger. Why are you not big enough? Alright, fine, dude. You want to have a small stroke? Fine, have a small stroke. It's kind of okay to have, like, a little bit of variance like that. That looks like crap. I don't like that part. Save though. Save, Habibi. Save. Yeah, there we go. Go like this. in there here we can fix that later uh I don't know maybe I do this side of it because uh, maybe the lights coming like this but it's wrapping under so maybe like maybe how it is is okay Yeah, maybe like that. <clears throat> so the wire is kind of like twisting around. Oh, I'm missing out. Sorry, guys. What's going on? Let's see what's up. Decide to write about game development. We, uh... Yeah, Bjorn develops on Thursdays. He does a game on live stream. Oh, that's cool. You want to be a game dev? That's cool. Yeah, you can write my thesis. You can read it, but uh, uh, they don't have it on Reddit. Uh, I don't know if you want to read my thesis, Habibi. But I can, uh, if you want to, I can share it with you. Hold on one, one, one moment, one moment. <coughs> I should share Bjorn's. Um, Bjorn's, uh, Bjorn's, he is Bjorn. Um, <coughs> actually, I just give you this link. It's easier. It's right here. It's under, 
Oh, here it is, thesis. So you click on thesis, there's a PDF. I will post it in the link. <coughs> but you should look at Bjorn's, his is better, mine's crap. Yeah, Unreal Engine. Ah, life is strange. We're setting up a process where you can submit your games. We give you feedback and analyze it using Aki Arvinen's method of breaking apart a game. Aki Arvinen is like a big uh, game designer from Finland, has like a PhD. So we use, uh, we learned to break and analyze games down using his method. Yeah, I like po low poly as well. <clears throat> yeah, you should talk about your thesis, Bjorn. Yours is cooler. Mine's El Boringo. El Boringo. Does that make sense? Is that is that is that a thing? Is that a word? El, Bor El Boringo. Sounds like a horrible. Uh, sounds like a horrible uh, kind of movie or something. El Boringo. Just when you thought it was safe to go outside. El Boringo. Yeah. Ah, oh, that looked crap. Crap! It's crap, Habibi. Uh, that's okay. I'll just erase that. Is there an erase here, Habibi? I don't think there. There is erase in this. I must go back. One more time. I get it this time. I get it. That's okay. That's good enough for government work. Close enough. Oh yeah, that's Aki's. That's Aki's book. El Boco. <clears throat> um but but doesn't he Bjorn, doesn't he have it? Doesn't he have it in, in El PDFO? <clears throat> this or is that just his dessert? This might be it. Here you go, guys. I will post the link for you. That's that's the. <coughs> you can buy the actual book too, but let's say you can't afford a hundred and five. <coughs> There's Elinko. Uh, just to tell you, remember that this is a PhD paper dissertation, so. It ain't short. It's not a short read, but there's some good stuff in there. If you're looking for a better, not a better, it's it's definitely really good. That's what we use. But you're looking something that's a little more kind of easier to take in, especially if you're not used to <coughs> like dealing with like very academic uh, works. Uh, I would recommend. Uh, <coughs> Um, the, <coughs> the art of game design by Jesse shell, a book of lenses. Here it is right here. So <coughs> great book. <coughs> this guy smoking is killing me. A great book is a uh, textbook e textbook. And you, that's not too bad of a price for what you're getting. <clears throat> so I, I I recommend that book of all of them highly if you're just getting into design. So Let's see if I can just quickly taper this off some point five. I don't. There we go. 
no one's seeing that. You should always remember that not get too stuck up on the details sometimes because what will happen is uh, people won't see it. So don't get too caught up on every little detail because once you zoom out, like this won't be seen like this. It'll be seen like maybe like that. So they're not going to see all these little details there. <coughs> do not worry, Habibis. Do not worry. <coughs> Draw inside. Yeah, I'm drawing with a mouse. I can draw with my Wacom as well, but... I'm kind of just so drawing with, I've been doing this now long enough. Oh, that's not what I want. I've been doing this long enough now that it's kind of just, I'm used to. Damn it. That's not what I want. I did not want you to change color. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that that way. Maybe I can use the Wacom here, but I, I just think it's easier, not easier, but I'm using the mouse, so I might as well just stay with the mouse. Just be a man, Habibi. Be a man. I can paint this way too, actually. But I don't want the color to change. This is very upsetting, Habibi, very upsetting. Sometimes I get things to work exactly how I want, and then not. Draw inside, Habibi, draw inside. See, I don't want that. Which is very upsetting. Let's do this. <clears throat> Draw normal. That's a normal line. Yes. Now if I go like this, that's a normal line. Yes. Yes, that's that color. All right, let's do this, Habibi. If I do this, it'll be there. So now I need to select this. Yes, and then I need to choose draw inside. Why don't you let me draw inside, Habibi? Is it grouped on something? Maybe it's because it's grouped it's doing that. It's grouped with something. <coughs> oh crap. Oh, I know. No, wait. No, it's all closed. Yeah, let's check this out. Check out what Dream Blocks TV is working on. Hey, I like that. Cool. Check that out. <clears throat> cool. Low poly is pretty cool. The way I see low poly is kind of like pixel graphics. I really like low poly. Oh my God, I think I have like... Ugh. Of course, I have like 50,000 ads. <clears throat> Do you want to buy a bikini? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Good job. Cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, this looks interesting. I can see a little factory making little, I guess the cars go in here and, ah, oh, which uh, the pollution going, destroying the world. Very nice, very nice. Really cool, dude. Why is, why? Let's put this on front. I don't understand why this is like 50,000 colors. All right, let's turn this off first of all. And this should be just this color. We did that. Now, if I go in, if I choose this color, <coughs> I don't want that. Why is it treating that like a, 
Oh, because I'm doing it that way, I'm... Aha, I know. Hold on. What is that color? That's this one? What's this color here? Let's figure it out later. Let's go into this. And let's try draw behind again. I mean, draw inside. Why won't you let me draw inside? All right, dude. You're pissing me off now. Royally pissing me off. Draw inside. Okay. This is really upsetting me. Because you're not following. Like, I was just doing this this whole time. Fine, dude. Draw normal. I'm going to have to do a clipping mask. So sometimes you come across where the program is just being stupid. And you got to do other ways to take care of stuff. So <clears throat> you got to do strange things, Habibi. What is going on? What is going? It's, it's changing it into a stroke. Yeah, so now if I go here, why are you? Okay, that's applying stroke. I don't want it as a stroke. <coughs> okay. And I will go inside here. Will it let me do this? This way? What will happen? There we go. <coughs> you want to be like that. That's not exactly what I wanted because I need to um, get this kind of out here. So, oh, that's not what it is. not this could have been a lot simpler if it would have just agreed with me but no it doesn't want to agree with me it just wants to make my life miserable right right mr. vector you want to make everything difficult don't you forgetful Lucy thanks for following don't forget us I think this is your first time here isn't it forgetful We're, uh, we're basically uh, two devs with nothing better to do than to help help everybody out. So we're here for you guys. Basically, Mondays I do some of this crap that you see I'm doing here. I do the artwork. And then on uh, Tuesdays we kind of sit around on a couch and talk about game stuff. And uh, then analyze your games. Hopefully we'll be doing some interviews in the future as well. And then uh, Thursday's Bjorn, my partner in crime right now. He's uh, doing some development work. Yeah. Thanks for the follow. <coughs> and we're here for you. If you guys remember, you have any games of your own you want us to look at. We're definitely here to check them out, help you out. It's all about the loving and sharing with each other. The Habibis, as I say. Uh, and uh, right now I'm working on a, uh, a game logo. A fake game. The game doesn't exist right now. We just made up the title recently. And uh, yeah. Just doing uh, some vector graphics <coughs> for logo right here. But definitely come check us out 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. 
I had an exam once I had to deal with that. I really royally messed it up. These time zones. And uh, <coughs> Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. <coughs> so I need to uh, draw this stuff here too, actually. Let's make this a little smaller, 0.5. See what comes done yeah we both have day jobs ah very nice it looks like a brick texture oh wrong direction yeah cool El bricks pixel bricks <coughs> really cool dude yeah good job I think this guy just lives to smoke. It's really upsetting. It's starting to piss me off. It's really upsetting me, Habibis. Again, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not against people that smoke. I got lots of friends that smoke. Just when it kind of comes from your balcony into my balcony, into my apartment, then it sucks. <coughs> and I can't have the window open. I can't enjoy the fresh air outside. Basically got to have smoke the whole fucking time. I wonder if he can hear me. He probably can hear me. He's like, oh, that asshole. I will smoke 50 extra cigarettes just to upset him. Ah, shit. Forgot to save. Nightbot, shut up. Yeah, who needs fresh air? No one needs fresh air, Habibi. I think this stuff has got to get above the other stuff. So that means, that means wrong layer. <coughs> I don't know if I like that. No. Yeah, get rid of that. Maybe I keep it that way. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Habibi. I don't know. Let's uh, let's start looking at some colors here. <coughs> Dream blocks. Oh, I know the feeling, bro. My neighbors under us are smoking a lot. Every time they're on the balcony or they open the window, we need to close everything. It's just so annoying. My neighbor used to smoke inside, so when I went to bed, I would just smell smoke. Luckily, I have a new house, so no more problem. Well, you know, we have a new house, too. Let's hope that this gets solved there. If not, I've just... I'm screwed. <laughs> so. Yeah, dude, this sucks. This is, like... It sucks so bad. Like, I can't breathe. I'm scared to do anything else about it. We've already talked with the uh, owners, the, the building owners, and they're basically like, 
Just go tell him to stop. Like, that's that easy. crazy like one's a hole here and the other's like an opening that's kind of cool actually let's see if i can play around with that actually that sh light would be on that side wouldn't it make it like point zero two five. Oh, that's too small <laughs> point two five i meant Remember again, people aren't going to notice when you're zoomed out, so don't get too caught up with some of that super details. <coughs> yeah, I think this is okay. Let's let's move on. When are you moving, Arash? Well, we're signing the Oh, yeah, we're signing the uh stuff on Friday and then we might move in a month or two something like this <coughs> basically when summer's over and I could enjoy the fresh air then I'm gonna <laughs> so I get to enjoy the fresh winter air hmm. yeah come um yeah, we have to try that out. You know what I was thinking? If you can get the two-player working, it would be cool if we tried that out uh, during one of the two devs on a couch days on Tuesday. <coughs> we'd, we'd definitely like to try it out on that day, I can tell you. Let's look at some of these colors that I uh, snip, snip it, stole, sampled, eye dropped. Um, <clears throat> earlier, let's see what the feelings, let's see the feels, what feels we get. <coughs> <coughs> the feels. I get no feels. You know why I don't get feels? Because I don't have anything selected. Do. Okay, that's kind of a blue. <coughs> oh, that's like super glowing. That's gotta be like a highlight actually. That's crazy. That's too strong. Those are all strong. That green's okay. That feels like a hacker green, I think. And that looks like the highlight of a hacker green. I don't know. Should I go with the... <coughs> should I go with the blue or the green? Yeah, if you could give me controller support. Holy crap. He won't know what to do. <coughs> the blue looked awesome. Alright, let's, let's do the blue and see what happens. You can do the Steam controller if you like. That that's a that's a that's a thing. Oh, don't do that. I mess up. I mess you up. Habibi. Uh No, that is wrong, Habibi. I don't I don't I don't want that. I want these ones. Yes, that's what I want, Habibi. 
I wanted neons. Let's see here. It's kind of like glowing thingies. Uh, let's do this piece here. It seems like maybe maybe like a darker blue. Not on the line though. I need it on the fill. Stay open. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, that's not dark enough. So I need a darker blue. So let's open this bad boy up. Save. Oh, I can't save that way. Save. Now open up the. <coughs> open up the. The colors. The colors, habibi. So. Let's see here. We want to make it a little darker. I guess. And let's see if the light is warmer. No, we want to have cool light. So if the, it's cool light, we want to have warm shadows. So maybe we can just bring it slightly towards the warmer. Which I think warmer is closer this way and just get a little darker. Something like that. <coughs> Maybe that's a little too much. Not enough. Let's go back. Let's do the other shadows first, then we can go from there. <coughs> okay. Oh, yeah, the Xbox 360 controller. That's the one I use mainly. Oh, you tried the Steam controller out? Yeah. <coughs> oh, you got your own emote. That's awesome, Cordy. Yes. Uh, yeah, Bjorn has a Steam controller. It was interesting. Yes, we need the Habibi mode. <coughs> White cold light from hacker screen. Yeah. Well, the highlights we can do that way. Yeah, we need to make a, we need to do that. <coughs> make a Habibi mode. Exactly, Habibi. Exactly. Oops. Let's get those right there. Actually, I should just group all these is what I should do. Let's just go ahead and do that. That way I can handle this easier. The grouping. Actually, that one too. And we'll group that. Can make a group. Why not, Habibi? I think that has got to become a, I think it's a stroke. It needs to become a out. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> this one? Actually, when I group it, is it gonna bring it above? Cause that'll suck. Oh, they're in different groups. Okay, it's okay. Not a problem. <coughs> I think this blue line might have to be like a different color. No, not the stroke, the fill.
Hmm. Oh crap, that, that freaking yellow looks crazy. <clears throat> Not yellow, I mean purple. Why the hell would I say yellow? Looks insane. This has got to be above all this, I think. The vein shouldn't be seen through this. Um, I think if I just cut all that, oop, this piece too. Oop, wrong one. No, edit redo. Redo. Let's do it again, Habibi. Let's take this and put it on a layer above. Yeah, because that has to be above everything. <coughs> Still don't like that. Don't like those colors. They're upsetting me. It's not good enough, Habibi. It's not good enough. If I have a blue... Maybe that and then this would be... What's another color here? She has green. <coughs> what if this was green? too hard to read though we would need to have dark buttons there we can do that though let's try that let's join all this crap together Um, sometimes what I like to do, I can do this and then go into Photoshop later and <coughs> do these touch-ups with just uh, <coughs> uh, path outline stroke. There we go. Then jern. join, jern, jern them. The bicep is so strained that it's reflecting light. Gonna remove ads just for you peeps. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, cool. It looks like an avatar. Oh, God. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I wish we could partner, but that's the future. We need your help, Habibis, to do that. <clears throat> that's gonna take some time to... Uh, to uh, get like that. I don't know if I like that. That's too bright. Let me go back to the gray. Let's go back to the gray. Maybe that should stay gray. Maybe we keep that gray, but we make the lights. We make the lights like or I mean these buttons or whatever they are, maybe they should be like green or something. let's group them so I don't have to keep doing this. Maybe like that, that kind of stands out. What if I do this? What happens if I do? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, cause that's like his uh, juice. <laughs> He's got juice powers. <clears throat> yeah, maybe that. 
maybe, maybe not, maybe, 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 maybe not. He's got juicy powers. <coughs> yeah, definitely. We're hoping, hoping, we're hoping, ah, yes. We're hoping as the community builds, we'll be able to <coughs> do a lot more. For all of you. Uh, the path outlined, the stroke, Habibi. What is this? No, I don't like that. Habibi. zoom into there I don't like this oh let's get the pen get the pen get rid of all this Habibi we don't need all this here yeah we got you Habibi Fine, fine, Habibi, fine. These highlights actually now, these all have to be actually, if that's green, they have to be like a slightly kind of, <coughs> can I do that that way? Can I do that? Can I, oh, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That messed up everything. If I make, if I make, hold on. Why can't I? So, okay, if I get that, and I make that like this color, and I get that and make it that color, what does it look like? What does it look like? Yeah, that's cool. Let's let's do that for that that way. <coughs> These highlights are upsetting me. They are not working to my the way I want to be. What's up, Sancho? What's going on? Ah, oh, you're just dropping in for a couple seconds, saying hello? Thanks for dropping in. <coughs> yeah, we're just making a, uh, we're making a, a kind of <coughs> logo for a game I called Super Hack. I don't know what it's about, we just made up the name and now we're making the making a logo for it which is okay sometimes that's okay yep Habibi, that's just annoying. That's okay. Might be just easier just to redraw all those damn things. Sometimes it's like that. It just 
redrawing the damn thing is probably easier than going and doing all that extra work. But that's okay. We don't mind, right? We don't mind that much. <coughs> I could probably go in and do that in thing easier, but in the Photoshop, but that's okay. We will do it this way. Do the long way. Bum 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 ba 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 bum ba ba bum ba bum bum ba 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 bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Oh, that's why. Turn that off. Bum, 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 bum. <coughs> Let's go and we'll do that. Let's actually do this. Oops. Thanks for following in area and Ian Ari 91. My goodness. That's a tongue twister. Yeah. Thanks for following. We're, uh, if you don't know about us, we're basically, uh, two guys from the games industry. At least we think we are. And, uh, we're trying to build a nice community. We're all, we're all helping each other out. So if you got any games and stuff you want us to check out, if you want want to share some artwork, you want some feedback, don't want some feedback. Monday I do some art. I stream art. Tuesdays, Bjorn, my car partner in crime, we have two devs on the couch where we talk about the industry. Wednesdays. Nothing, because I'm teaching on those days. And Thursdays, we have uh, Bjorn. He does some uh, development, actually, which is really cool. But yeah, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be uh, Tomorrow we're going to be uh, <coughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely Quasi's awesome He's our buddy Yeah, thanks for dropping in and checking us out I'm working right now on this Uh <coughs> We made up a title called Super Hack for a game, and I'm just gonna be making a logo for it, that's all. Nothing special. Nothing special. Bum, bum, bum. Why is it a locked book? Hey, I promise you it's not. Um, I actually taught a class during, um, during summer to some uh, programmers actually and um, and um, and they were awesome at the end of that summer and you know what I did was let me recommend this book for you and you just come here and we will we'll help you out I can definitely help you it's called drawing from the right side of the brain if you can get your hands on that book Drawing from the right side of the brain by Betty Edwards. It's awesome. Uh, it's it basically totally changed the way I saw drawing. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Like if you want to learn different drawing stuff, 
you're I'm always here to help definitely um, and you're always free Mondays Tuesdays and Thursdays you can always drop us drop in your artwork we can give you feedback we can help you if you don't want to show it on the stream you can always email it to us um, definitely what's up flow cobble how's it going yeah no problem but definitely if you need any help with drawing I, I promise you every everybody can draw they just it's it's a different way you have to learn a different way to uh, to see oh is my mic laggy my mic is laggy is it still laggy <clears throat> shut up nightbot but yeah if you need help definitely I can I can do my best to help you <laughs> Okay. All right. Flow cobble. What's up? The, the, maybe the connection is bad. Maybe, uh, maybe the long distance, long distance flow flows, not working for flow cobble, but thanks for dropping in, dude. It's good seeing you. Oh, your first game trailers on game dev company. All right. Yeah, we gotta help Flo out so he can. <coughs> he doesn't have as many problems as we do. But yeah, let me. Uh, <coughs> as you guys can see, I'm running low on energy here, so I'll only be here a little bit longer. Maybe I need to wrap up for the evening soon. Let me just finish up this highlight. <clears throat> hmm. This might have to carry on over to next. Uh, El next. Oh, computer's dragging super slow. Tomorrow, uh, Bjorn and I are going to be at. Uh... <clears throat> ah, you're watching on. You're watching on the iPhone. Yeah, that that can happen. That can cause problems, definitely. Mm -hmm. the hell is... Let me move this up like this. Maybe I can do this easier this way. <coughs> Actually, you know what? These colors need to be in reverse in reality, I think. So let's do that. And uh, I think, uh, do I have this layer locked? Do I have the layer lock? Why can't I access it? Let's save. I get nervous when I can't grab stuff there we go what's going on okay yeah yeah okay so that would be this color yeah there we go and that would be the other color there we go that's better <coughs> coming along coming along yeah we can read quasi today you guys want to do that how about how about uh <coughs> I think this is a good stopping point for right now I won't work on this. Uh, <clears throat> I won't work on this anymore. I'm only going to work on it on the stream. So we can pick back up on, on where we left off. Oh, are we working on a game? <laughs> Itchy mags. Oh God. 
Buren's working on a game on Thursdays, actually. Yeah, you can you can drop in on on Thursdays and check out his uh, <coughs> check out the stream. Basically, both that both him and I are on the same kind of. Well, how how do you want to call it? Stream. I don't know, Habibi. I don't know what you call this. What is this? Uh, what are these things called, Habibi? I don't know, Habibi. Things. We are together. We hold hands. <clears throat> yes, I do the creative. He does the development. Yes, exactly. Mondays, artsy. Thursdays is uh, developy. And then Tuesdays is when it's really cool. That's when Bjorn and I are in the same space and we're talking about industry stuff and uh, <clears throat> and um, also checking out people's games. We also play some, you know, triple A games and then we uh, we evaluate them as well. So uh, kind of show you how to think like a designer. But yeah, this is uh, this is coming along. Yes. Yeah, we're really, really excited about if you guys have stuff you want to show, we really want to see it as well and share it with everybody. So if you have stuff, definitely take advantage. <coughs> but um, but hey um. Tomorrow we would usually be streaming, um, streaming to uh, do our two devs on a couch. But Bjorn and I are going to be uh, on uh, at Games First, which is basically here. It's a big event. I think Bjorn linked it already. <clears throat> but usually we have our our event, but. Uh, well, there's some really big speakers and <laughs> you're really lucky if you can get get in you apply to get in so they have really big people from really big places oh they got the lego coming and um so we'll be there if we can we're gonna try to do some streaming but um but no promises uh, we don't want to get ourselves in trouble either so uh, we want to be invited back next year as well. So uh, so if we don't get the stream tomorrow, we'll definitely see you guys. Uh, well, Bjorn will be here on Thursday. So definitely check him out then. Uh, and I'll be back on Monday. And then you can see us both together on Thursday. But uh, maybe it's a good it's a good uh, point to 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 wrap up now. So. Um, so thanks for thanks for checking us out. Uh, maybe how about we go? Should we go go host somebody, Bjorn? What do you think? Should we go jump jump on someone? Mr. K, what's up? You're dropping in right when I'm finishing up, man. What's going on? Let's go raid somebody. We're gonna, you just came in time for the raid. Now you gotta raid. But hey guys, remember. Remember next time. We might not be here tomorrow, so definitely, definitely, definitely. Mr. K, what? What, do we, what are we waiting for? What's up? <coughs> yeah, we'll still be around. You can still chat. Yes, Bjorn does. You can talk with him. But I'll see you guys. See you guys next week, if not sooner. <laughs> <laughs>